Baruch Hashem, we are on day five of our daily Sefer Mitzvah study. And that means we're finally getting to the first of the 613 commandments. In fact, we're going to study three mitzvahs today. Now, I mentioned before, we're not going in the order of Sefer Mitzvahs. We're going in the order that the mitzvahs from Sefer Mitzvahs correspond to whatever's being studied in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah. It happens to be, however, that today in the three chapters a day study of Mishnah Torah, we're going into Hilchas Yisei Deha Torah, the laws of the foundations of the Torah. And so it happens to be that the first mitzvahs there are the same as the first mitzvahs in Sefer mitzvahs. So the, our first mitzvah today is the, pos, the first positive commandment, and uh, that is to believe in the existence of God. But hold on a second. Hold on a second. Why does the Ramam say to believe? Laha amin, Loshan amuna, to believe in the existence of God. Uh, if you look in today's three chapters of Mishnah Torah, the Rambam starts off and he says that it's Yesaida Yesaidis Vamuda Chochmois, the foundation of foundations and the pillar of wisdoms. Leida, Leida means to know that there is a first primary being. Not to believe, to know. And in fact, later on in the same chapter, chapter one of Hilchas Yisaidi Atayra, um, he says, V'yadiyas, I'm talking about in Halacha Vav of Perek Aleph, V'yadiyas Davarzeh, the knowledge of this matter, mitzvah sase, is a positive commandment, Shinamar, as it says, Anechi Hashem So then why in Sefer Mitzvahs does it say, Laha min to believe? Okay. I didn't come up with this question. There is a commentary on Sefer Mitzvahs written by Rav Chaim Heller. Rav Chaim Heller was a great scholar and a genius. He was a contemporary and dear friend of Rav Chaim Eiser of Vilna. Uh, Rav Chaim Heller was in Berlin at the same time as the Rebbe. He was very close with Rav Yosef Ber Soloveitchik, and the two of them, Rav Yosef Ber and the Rebbe, would actually learn with Rav Chaim Heller in his home in Berlin. Later on, after the Histalkus, the passing of the Friedrich Rebbe, Rav Chaim Heller came to the Shiva of the Friedrich Rebbe, accompanied with his Talmud Rav Yosef Bear. So there's a relationship there between uh, the Rebbe and Rav Heller. Now, Rav Heller wrote, as I mentioned, an incredible commentary on Sefer Mitzvahs, and he had a knowledge of Arabic, which is very important in understanding the nuances of Sefer Mitzvahs. So Rav Heller points out that the word that the Rambam originally used, not the Ibn Tibun translation, lahamin, to believe. The original Arabic word is itkad, itkad. I actually discussed this with an Arabic scholar, and uh, you know what that word means? It's related to the word in Lashon HaKadish, lahavdil, with the shoirish, the etymological root, ayin kuf dalid. You might recognize that from the word akeda like Akedis Yitzchak, the binding of Isaac. That root means to bind or to tie up. So Yitkad means to be bound up to something. You could translate it as to believe in it strongly, but you could just as well translate it to, to mean to know something, to have intimate knowledge of it, which is very similar to the way that we use the word Das, Dalid Ayin Sof especially the way Chassidus explains it as being profound, deep focus, concentration, and connection, like Odom Yoda Eschava, Adam New Eve. So at any rate, that is what the Ram actually writes, that the first mitzvah is to be bound up mentally with certainty in intimate knowledge of the fact that God exists, not just to believe as an abstract notion, but to know it to know that Hashem exists and that that is the foundation of all reality. So that is our first mitzvah. All right, what is our second mitzvah? The second mitzvah of today is 
the corresponding prohibition, hora, the warning or the prohibition, not to believe in any other gods. Now, it's interesting. We mentioned that the whole purpose why a Sefer HaMitzvah was, was needed is because we have a tradition that there are 613 commandments, but we don't know what they are. The truth is, though, we do know what two of them are. Remember the Gemara and Makas we mentioned, the one that teaches us that there are 613 commandments? So over there it says that the word Torah, Tov, Vav, Resh, He, is the Gematria 611, right? Tov is 400, Vav is 6, Resh is 200, and He is 5. So you get 611. Well, why is Torah 611? It should be 613. Ah, but the answer is because Torah means what Moshe taught us. He taught us 611 mitzvahs. Why did he only teach us 611? Why didn't he teach us two others? Because he didn't have to, because those two mitzvahs we heard directly from Hashem, which were the first two of the Ten Commandments, Anoichi, I'm the Lord your God, which is the mitzvah we just mentioned, and Lo Yilucha, you should have no other gods. So those two mitzvahs are sort of the two sides of the same coin. So the first mitzvah today is the positive commandment to know, and I'm going to translate it as to know with intimate personal knowledge that there is a God and the corresponding prohibition not to have or to entertain such notions about another entity. Okay, and now this brings us to the third mitzvah of today, which is another positive commandment, and that is Yichud Hashem. What is Yichud Hashem? The oneness or the unity of Hashem. That's different than the first mitzvah. The first mitzvah is Anoichi Avaya Lekecha. You have to know that God exists, and he is the ultimate existence. This mitzvah is to believe in God's oneness. And the basis for this is the scriptural verse, which we all know, and as Jews we say multiple times a day, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad, that Hashem is Echad. And that means not only monotheism, that there is one God and no other gods, but that God's existence is ultimate oneness. It's not, God forbid, a composite of different things that are put together in an amalgamation, but it is absolute, pure, simple oneness. And that is the third mitzvah. We will continue tomorrow, Amir Hashem, God willing, with more mitzvahs.